more about the death of a toddler in St. Johnsbury. More about how the little boy did not die. WPTZ's Ashley Allen has more on this for us tonight, live from the Upper Valley Newsroom. Ashley, what did we learn today? Well, Stephanie, new autopsy results show there were no physical signs of harm to 22-month-old Mason Keithen at the time of his death, leaving those who loved the toddler still looking for answers. Tonight, we'll hear from Mason's neighborhood babysitter, who's still grieving the death of the little boy she calls May May. My heart dropped. I was like, oh, no, not him. He can't be. No. Heidi Fustel says she'll never forget how she felt when she was woken up by sirens last weekend. Yeah, it was pretty hectic. Ambulance, fire trucks, please examine her. Yeah. I came out, had my features watching, and I'm like, what's going on? And then I found I was sitting right here, and I go, where's May May? And then coming to find out. It was him. Police were called to this apartment on Mountain View Road in St. Johnsbury around 8 a.m. on Saturday morning after reports of an unresponsive toddler. Uh, they said that their son went down, and uh, when they woke up, uh, they found the child unresponsive. Uh, they did attempt uh, to perform some rescue breathing, and that was unsuccessful. And uh, the ambulance arrived on scene and made it. Staff from the ambulance made a death pronouncement of the child. Detective Dave Peterson says the parents of 22 month old Mason Keithen called 911 when they couldn't get their son to wake up. Well, the parents were visibly upset. It was a very somber scene. They were crying. Recent autopsy results show there was no signs of physical harm to the toddler, but Peterson says investigators are still waiting on toxicology results. A portion of this investigation is going to be dependent on what the toxicology results show, and certainly the medical examiner's office will review those, and those will likely have a bearing in how the ruling is made in terms of manner and cause of death. Two things that those who love Mason are eager to find out. But he was a good little boy. Detective Peterson says those toxicology results could take up to four weeks to come through. In the Upper Valley Newsroom, Ashley Allen, WPTZ News Channel 5.